Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Naruto uh, Shippuden Breakdown. Right? I like to say the Japanese way, uh, Naruto. And because I like to watch the Japanese and they have the English captions so I can get the true meaning and feelings behind the words are said, you know, feelings, words have feelings and emotions to attached to it. And so, brilliantly done by the Japanese uh, animation ca ca uh, creators with doing this, um, they are using ancient culture, ancient wisdom, ancient mysteries and put it in anime. I think it's brilliantly done because somewhere... The Japanese have never forgot their ancient ways. Let us begin with the decoding breakdown. Okay, so the main character, uh, his name is Naruto. Brilliantly done with, with masking what's going on here. So the savior is blonde hair, blue eyes. Perfectly done to coax the ego of the viewer and other people and the program that is set. Let us move on to the next one. And I thought this picture of Naruto was very good because, yes, we see the blonde hair. But look, do you see the cross? Also, too, to coach the ego of some people out here that think that the cross, and this could represent so many things. It can also represent the four lands that are in the middle of our environment. Now, let us move on. Here is the characters here. Now, to show that Naruto is the only one who is the savior and the only one that has this power brilliantly done, brilliantly masked to, to make everyone think that you, yes, you, can't be the hero here. Here is the, the land where uh, the village is and we see the monuments on the mountains. Where else is there monuments on the mountains that's here? Totally masking it. Brilliantly done. Playing with the egos of people. It was funny how they had this back in ancient times. I wonder what tech they had. Now, within the land they had, within the village, there were five clans. Brilliantly done. Because listen, now this can play on the program of religion. Right? Jesus has five. Allah has five. Buddha, take off a D, has five. Playing with that. Now, in the Vedic culture, though, they call these the five kashas, the five copies of yourself, which Naruto has the ability to copy himself when he goes into that mode. Now, in order to understand this ancient wisdom and understanding, we have to go back into time. Here, most of us already know this. The eye horse lines up correctly with the brain. Okay, so the way I think that we're going to put that dot on the wall because someone is trying to tell you something. Most of, most of us have never seen this next picture here. Most of us didn't know this. When you line the brain up or you superimpose the brain onto the pyramid of Giza, it lines up correctly. The ancient knowledge, the ancient wisdom, the hidden secrets. Now this, we put this dot on the wall. Now we have two dots because we're going to connect these dots today because here is another picture. Now, really quick, ladies and gentlemen, that the Egyptians, before the corruption begun, the Egyptians put their trillion dollar question to all the smart minds and brilliant people in their time. Their trillion dollar, our trillion dollar question is, why are we here? What's the purpose of life? And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, what is soul? And the Egyptians answered these three questions. No Egyptian Egyptianologist is going to tell you this. No whole teppers is going to tell you this. And for damn sure, the house of consciousness is not with Sardana and brother, all, um, brother James and, and Professor Smalls are never going to tell you this because this is ancient knowledge and they don't want to empower you.
So, ladies and gentlemen, the first level to your soul. Let's look into it. Here's a picture of the lizard brain. Here's the mammal brain. Here's the human brain. We all understand this. But here, this reptile brain, this fight or flight type of thinking. So the first level, ladies and gentlemen, you, yes, you, there is an animal in nature that you walk like it, you talk like it, you eat like it, you sleep like it, you even might dream like it. This is the animal that you are attached to and this is what the reptile brain is there for. There is some type of animal in nature that you totally are. Now, in the course of this uh, anime, here's Naruto right here. And here's the beast, the animal that's inside of him. But gentlemen and ladies, this is you also. And how do you tap into this? This is conscious mind. This is subconscious mind. Some people might call it the ego. Now, let's get into this really quick, ladies and gentlemen. Is that, let's imagine. No, not imagine. Let's think that the controllers know this ancient wisdom. And know that all of us have this animal that we are nowhere near aware of. That we have this. So this means that someone can control you from a distance, control the animal, so they can control you within. I think this is brilliantly done by the Japanese anime creators. Now, this picture here, this guy here, you know, we can say it's a, a Naruto also, but everyone that knows the anime, this is his, like, buddy or arch nemesis. And it's funny that they use this scene that someone can tap into someone else and find out the animal that you are. And now the reason why I'm bringing this up because, you know, as you know how the, the people say that we have, we have people in high places. So when we talk about these high places, so let's look at the, the, let's look at the politicians that all act animalistic here. They can be swayed. They can be bought. They will even uh, invest in stocks when they're not supposed to. They will continue their animalistic ways and basically land, uh, lay down the law for everyone. In the seats of government, in the seats of government in Egypt, not only did you have to know the law and policies, but you would have to identify who the animal is within you so you control yourself. So you control the animal within. So it won't over consume you now moving on ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen this is just the first level of your soul here's another picture of of naruto and the cage beast within and if you don't tame the beast within you will go with the saying the survival of the fittest which is very animalistic and you're not an animal you're a divine being full of light and love you don't have to be animalistic now now to end this right to end this this is the all of the nine and this this guy here uh naruto has the nine and every there's other people that encompass this in different villages now it's very strange how they use the 666 in the middle now everyone knows that that's not the devil's number that's the number of man. And it's funny how it's also Freemason based because they say, they're saying is the ring around rings around rings. So the initiative won't know who's in the center ring. I think this is perfectly done. This also represents the environment that we in. And once we get to the center, we would know exactly what's going on. So for the first episode, of Naruto Decoded was the first level to your soul. Know the animal within. And how would you know that? Meditate on that and ask. And you will be shown. It's your boy.